I wish I got better before pictures, but here we are. They're not meant to look nice. It's all right. I'm redoing my art room. To start out, I will be filling holes, lots of holes in the wardrobe, on the walls, on the everything. I've just actually neglected this room. It's the room I work the most in, and so the walls and everything have just gone a little bit under the weather. They're a little bit rough. Things I'm not sorted yet, like the side of that unit. Here's the cat. Gotta have a cat break. He just loves the sink. I have moved around the wardrobe. I've upgraded my windows. I do need to sort out that light, and we are sanding everything down that we filled while waiting for some things to set. I did make a trip to town to get some supplies. Started out in Poundland, got some cheap stuff because I'm I'm a cheap person. I went to TK Maxx to find some fake flowers, and they were they were pricier than I wanted, and so I made my way over to Primark. Those were the right price. They were about a pound each. Oh, English countryside on the way back. And now I'm gonna tape and prep some walls. Good stuff. A lot of these walls I am repainting with the same color. I've been meaning to do this for a while because they have so many scratches and bumps on them. The neutral wall shade has a bit more yellow in it this time around. Painting over this house thing because I've not had the desk that went with it for years. <laughs> Cleaning up all of the mess from everything. Awesome. Oh, there's a lot of mess to clean up. This is actually a really big project. It took me the whole day. <laughs> Repainting is such a job. Moving the furniture back on the walls. Cool things. Look at me go. I'm really happy to be redoing this room, by the way. And I'm also making it a little bit of a Bridgerton theme. Just a little bit. Let's note here that this time I actually did remove the shelves and the sockets and stuff before painting and not just painting around them. I actually took time to do it right this time. Made a trip outside. Got to see some lovely blossoms. The next day I decided to do my Bridgerton inspired wall. For this I'm doing two different tones, a lighter tone on the base, letting that dry, and while it dried I moved to this wardrobe unit. This is the one I patched the holes of and I'm painting the inside green. Now I put on a layer of tape and we're going to add the top color. This one I picked a darker shade of blue, has a hint of purple in it, looks very lovely. dry and then the next day get to clean up this mess a bit took off the masking tape and it came out nice and straight I was so happy more masking tape removal cool stuff cool stuffs cleaning awesome I do enjoy a good clean it's good little dance I'm listening to good music. I've got a How to Train Your Dragon playlist and I very much enjoy it. Removing more masking tape and then we start on the fun part. I got some larger canvases. I removed the fabric from the frame so I can use it again later or put it on a new frame. And then after stripping these and cleaning them, I got distracted and wanted to put my curtain up. to repaint the trim on the ceiling. Here we go. Now we can go back to that frame. I drilled in some holes and for this I just stacked them on top of each other so I didn't drill into the floor. And then I attached them to the wall, making sure they are level, measured, evenly spaced. I did place them a little bit more to the right side so I could hang something next to my door. And then we're attaching them to the wall. Putting filler in all the cracks. This is a very important step. You don't want to skip it. Also, I love my silicone corner edge. It just helps so much. Now that the trim is dry, I can remove the tape. A very fun time removing this tape over the camera. While waiting for things to set, I took a trip to Winchester with Tom. And then I came back 
and painted over the framework with the wall color. And I love this look. I love it. I love it so much. I love it even more that they are canvases because it's me. I paint. It's lovely. It's so much fun. It's such a simple thing that looks fancy. It's so good. Then I repainted the trim, and I really hate trim paint. It's a bit oil-based, it's really messy, it's hard to work with a little bit, it takes forever to dry, you have to be super careful, and if you get it on your hands and it dries, oh, it's terrible to get off. <laughs> Finally got to hang this up. It's been behind a bookcase for so long because I have not had a place to put it. <laughs> Clean things up a little bit more. I also got actual handles for the doors. I've not had those, I just kind of had some sticky things that are meant for walls and I used those as handles, temporary handles that lasted a few years. And we add the final details. These are the flowers I got from Primark and I've arranged them into a vase. I've organized all the insides of my drawers, they're so nice, I have a place for lighting, for baking, for paint, it's so good. Cleaning up the final details, adding little bits to my desk, including this duster, oh I do love a duster. Little pin, little scissors, headphones, basic necessities. And here is the finished room. I am so happy. I'm so happy. Why did I wait this long to make my workspace nicer? I waited so long. I shouldn't have done that. I've also taken another trip to Winchester between all this. Cool stuff. And here we are. I love this space. I love this space so much. So much. So good. I basically took everything that was bugging me and I fixed it. Why didn't I have this idea sooner? <laughs> Putting this on because it seems like fun. Cool. And it is Bridgerton inspired, meaning that I've used some of the colors. So Bridgerton has purples, blues, pinks, yellows, and I've pulled shades of those colors that I most associate with myself rather than using the exact Bridgerton ones. So it's all the same spectrum. It's inspired by, but it's very much my area and I love it. I love it so much. One more thing that I just did. I've also repainted this doorway. Originally I painted it dark gray to match Monsters Inc. However, I think light blue suits it a lot more for the household. I love the fact that these are actually canvas frames and not just framing I made, that they're actual canvases. I love that. I do art. I love painting on a canvas. It's so good. Shush. I got this from H&M Home on sale. It's like a dragon. <laughs> so good. Done. Done. Just a dust and done. Just a done. I, I've been going on a bit too long here. Bye. Goodbye.